Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, Making Sense of Credit and Making Sense of Making Money Online. My name is Tony Hill. I'm a personal and small business credit coach, YouTuber, online marketer, and actor. Welcome. Hey, um, I wanted to do a video. Look, um, this is March 13th, Friday the 13th, uh, 2020. And I know we're all feeling the, you know, the... Um, the unknown of uh, dealing with coronavirus, or or some of you may know it as COVID nineteen. But you know, I was searching, I was looking for videos to uh, help you guys out in this time. To you know, I didn't see anything as far as you know uh, any videos regarding protecting your credit, uh, making money online. Because I know some of you maybe have lost your jobs, or you may just have been um, told to go home for the, the next two weeks to a month. And now you're like, well, how do I feed my family if you don't have paid sick leave? And maybe you're a freelancer like I am. What do you do? So I wanted to, you know, give you guys a little knowledge, a little something that's been kind of working for me because I've been chasing this online, uh, making money at home and making money online thing for the last couple of years. Although I do have a, a, a full time gig that I use and and knock on wood, several other streams of income. But I wanted to drop this video to you folks. So look, I think the first thing you want to do is protect your credit. Look, you've probably, I mean, if you built up your credit and the credit's good right now, or even if you're struggling to, to get there and you're working and getting your credit to where it needs to be, first thing you need to do is protect your identity because you know, in the time of crisis, cameras come out of the woodwork. So I would say protect yourself from cameras. Uh, scammers, like I have, I have experience in monitoring. I have um, identity guard. I'm gonna just show you here. A cool thing about identity guard, and I am a an affiliate, is that you can start for um, sign up for as little as six dollars and sixty seven cents. And the reason I sign up with them is that they're the best, and um, I, I like their I like their system. And I will put all my links. Um, down below that I'm an affiliate with, affiliate with, and then also I'll have a disclaimer there um, regarding you know I do get a small commission, and that's not the reason I brought you this video. The reason I brought you this video is to give you some sense of you know of the unknown and what what you can and what you you know what you can do in these times to put maybe yourself and your family and friends at ease. So that's why I'm bringing you this video. But look. Um, started a couple days ago. And it's funny because every, you know, my clients reached out to me and I said, well, let me make a few calls. And I, and I, and it's amazing because I was really on the front lines of this thing. And you guys, if you follow me, I've been on the front lines of, you know, like, uh, FICO, uh, FICO 10 and 10 T. I was on the first one to do a video about that. And I think I'm pretty one of the first people to do a video about this. So when well, my clients reached out to me and said, Tony, what can I do? So I said, well, um, and this is even before I received any any information as far as some of the companies. You and and hopefully you've seen the companies reaching out to you talking about, look, you know, we we're aware of COVID nineteen, the coronavirus, and then also they sending out these notices if you have hardships to to people. And I think that's great because what they're trying to do, they try to get ahead of this thing versus um, what happened in two thousand seven, two thousand eight, where you know, the banks didn't have the liquidity that they needed. And but the banks, are, I think, are a lot more stable versus back then. Although if this thing goes longer than expected, that could put a, a very um, that could put a strain on the on the banks. So, look, the number one thing you want to do after you protect your identity is to reach out to those lenders if you can't make a payment. And I tell you, I made. 40, 50 calls yesterday for some of my clients. And if you get ahead of this thing, they're very understanding. So let them know that, hey, you've been laid off or you've been you know, sent home and, and you're in the service industry or you're in an industry where you need to be there at that location. And, I, and they've been very receptive as far as you know, deferring your payment, not making sure you don't have any lakes, protecting your credit. Um, and I, I talk to all a variety of lenders. So I would say start with that. Um, 
Another thing that you can do if you are working from home and you're making money, you have income coming in is that, um, but you know, you have no money left at the end of the day. So I would say after you paid your bill. So I would say, look, I mean, if you got good credit and you have decent credit, try to increase your um, limits if you can without doing a whole lot of inquiries. Uh, if you missed a payment, don't don't try to apply because more than likely, especially recent payment and you haven't been current on your your credit cards or your or your debt that you owe, don't 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 do that. Don't burn up a lot of inquiries on your credit. Um, but you know, increase your limit to give your your family a little bit more breathing room. It's an old it's an old saying. When I got out of college, didn't know nothing about credit, and I I, I read a couple of books. Now, if you follow me, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, wealth without risk and some others. But it's an old saying, you know, when you need credit, you can't get it. Maybe you're maxed out. Maybe you're doing, you know, you're whatever in whatever situation. But when you don't need credit, every lender is trying to give you credit. You'll get this offer. You'll get that offer. So let me tell you something. Right now, if you have any of those offers laying around, take those offers. Uh, apply. Not too many. You know, one or two. So you'll need a, a bunch of inquiries. And you don't need to be getting a bunch of debt, get yourself in trouble. That's not what I'm trying to do. But grab those offers if you have limited credit and apply for those and get them before. Because what happened in 2007, if you're not aware of this, is that the banks tightened uh, when things got really tough. So what they did was you have a 15,000 line of credit. Next thing you know, you look, you look, you got something in the mail and say, oh, your credit has been reduced to twenty five hundred or a thousand dollars because you missed a payment. And that was really just their way of re reducing their uh, debt and their exposure out there in credit. So be aware of that. You know, so if you have some offers and, and, and I'm, I'm not trying to panic any, anyone, that may not ever happen because once again, the banks are a lot more stable at this point. But I want you to, I want you to make, a, make you aware of that because uh, hopefully that doesn't happen and, or it won't sneak up on you. But if you have other offers, Let's say if you have $20,000 line of credit right now, who knows if the things go goes out further, you could see the banks tighten and reduce those amounts on you, even if you don't have, have not missed a payment or any, any or anything else. It's just their way of easing their pain overall. So I just wanted to make drop that to you and make you aware of that. Um, also, too, um, you know, you need a monitoring service one way or the other, whether it's um, Experian, Identity Guard. I would say make sure you look at and invest in a monitoring service. That's going to save you a whole lot of hassle. Um, so, look, let's let's get into the making money part. Look, and just for you folks who, who haven't been with me um, and who are who not a subscriber, first of all, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the notification bell for upcoming content. Smash that like button if you like what I'm talking about today or or any of my videos. I appreciate it. Feel free to make a comment if you like. And most of all, share this with your friends and family. Let them know about it. Don't keep this information to yourself if you find it useful to you, which normally mean that someone else will find it useful also. So let's talk about work for home. Look, I've been chasing this thing for two years. And off and on, you know, like maybe some of you have, I was going to start a YouTube channel. I dropped it. I was going to do this. I dropped it. I picked it up and I, and I started my YouTube channel two years ago. Didn't do a whole lot. Uh, and I have to say in the last six to nine months, because, and I live in Atlanta. So my whole thing is I'm trying to get off the highway. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of traffic. So I really started to, uh, you know, buckle down and put a little extra time in this thing outside of doing my my um, my full time job because you know I, that's a gig of mine too, and I have four I have several streams of income and I'm trying to get several more, um, so I don't have to fight traffic, and really I'm trying to get to the point where I have passive income where I put all these things in place, and um, you know they're evergreen, what and which means that you know then they're kind of on their own, I really don't have to do a whole lot of servicing to them. So that's that was my goal overall to do. So look, I'm going to share some things with you about making money online or making money from home 
that has worked for me. And once again, this is only for me. I look, I, I've, I've looked at every and everything, any and everything online about making money. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you how many things that I've tried, but to say that is to say this, you know what? There is a way that you can make money online. I know some of you may be just temporarily home or some of you may have gotten laid off and need other options, but there's no better time than now to start. And you may not see it now. I mean, in some things you can make money right away, but there's other things. If you start doing what I did two years ago, you'd be so far ahead of the game where you have affiliates and you have other things that are kind of on the evergreen. But let, let me dive right into it. So look, I just kind of pulled this up for you, you folks, really, if you, for you guys is 10 real work from home jobs from 2020. You know, you can scroll through this and see if, if, if any of these um, kind of work for you, virtual assistants, medical trans, uh, scriptionist, translator, um, web developer, uh, travel agent, freelance writer. I am a social media man manager also since I've been doing this thing online. So I've gotten good at that. That entry, call uh, call center representative and blogger. And I'm also a blogger. I do have a website. You can also check out making sense of credit.com. That's my blog. And I've had that for a couple of years too. Uh, through Wealthy Affiliate, one of my my um affiliates. And also I'll put all my tools that I use, affiliates that I use. Once again, I do that. Typically, if you sign up for one of those, I get a small commission. Help me, helps me, you know, do my YouTubing. And, um, and then also too, once again, I'm trying to get to the point where I can make money totally online. So, but look, you could do one of those. If those don't apply to you, like they don't apply to me uh, other than the social media, you know, my next thing to do is to check out Fiverr. I think I got Fiverr up here. Cool thing about Fiverr, Fiverr is a freelance site. You can pretty much get anything on Fiverr. You can get, um, I don't care, graphics designs. I mean, look at look at any and everything that they have up here. You can, and look, you, mostly digital products, but also to physical products. You know, you, you can send stuff out to people. But Fiverr is just incredible. I've been, it's been working well for me, uh, especially you know, once again, I've had it for a couple of years, but I really buckled down and I really started to make money. Um, here's my profile. I started to make money um, about 120 days ago. I only got four bucks made in March, but you know, with this uh, COVID-19 and that sort of thing. But if you look at my earnings in the last, uh, short period of time, you know, it's, it's been pretty good to me. I've made some good money, uh, overall. And I won't get into that cause I don't like to boast and brag about what's working for me, but, but look, Fiverr is a great, a great tool to use. It's something you can get into, find out, uh, set up a gig It's free to get, get on. I'll put my link in it. It's free to, to set up a gig and to start making right away. The only thing is you, you'll, it'll take you if you, if, a, if someone purchases your gig, um, it'll take two weeks to get paid, but check out my video. I, I did a video on Fiverr and a kind of, you know, a tutorial, um, check out my, um, making money with Fiverr video online. It'll walk you through it. If you want to go step by step, this is just an overview folks about, you know, how to protect your credit and then how to make money on make money from home, make money online. This is just an overview. So check that video out extensive if you want to find out more about Fiverr. Also, I have Wealthy Affiliate. I have a video on Wealthy Affiliate. I'm also a, a, an affiliate of Wealthy Affiliate. But I started out, I was like 300 ranked. Now I'm at 1250. And I've only posted one. I don't do a whole lot in, in, in the Wealthy Affiliate community. But this thing really has changed the way uh, how I make money online has just been a great source. Of course, it hosts my my um, my website too, and it's just so many. It's, it's, the training is unbelievable. And look for someone like me who's a novice that came into this thing. You can start with a free service, and then um, of course I pay for the service uh, forty nine. I think it's like forty nine bucks because look, it, it's it's well worth it. It was well worth it. So yeah, wealthy affiliate Fiverr that works for me. You can go to ClickBank. 
You know, ClickBank is good. Find a product. It's free. This is one of the free things. Let me just share with you too when I'm talking about ClickBank and like some of these affiliates. The, the, there's kind of a, a misunderstanding misnomer about affiliate marketing. A lot of affiliates you have to qualify for because you're a blogger, you'll get it approved. You're a YouTuber like me because I have a good following. I'm a uh, subscriber following, and I have and I have quite a few views on my website. So. A lot of the affiliates I apply for, I get approved. But at first, I did not. So ClickBank or JVZoo, a lot of these, and I'll show you the uh, JVZoo here. You know, these guys, you know, a lot of them are, are free to start. You really don't need anything, a uh, website or a, a YouTube channel to get approved. So I would say suggestions starting on those. Um, and then, but watch some videos, check it out. Don't. Look, until you understand affiliate marketing, don't spend any money on advertising um, and don't buy any you know, uh, of this traffic, junk traffic to send to these links because it does not work. Take it from a guy who've, who's done it, who spent hundreds of dollars doing it and it doesn't work. Make sure if you're going to do it, make sure you have a autoresponder set up so you can capture the people who are interested and then you can you can send them two, three um uh, emails, you know, if they're interested, because your likelihood of them buying the first time they see anything that you're selling online is slim to none. I mean, I think it's less than like one to two percent. So do not waste your money on that. I'm safe. I'm I'm trying to help you save the money when you start this whole making money online thing. The great thing I love about Fiverr, which is incredible, you don't need any autoresponder. You don't need any advertising. The people go there looking for you. Um, whether whatever expertise you have, uh, of course, I'm a personal small business credit consultant. So they come there basically looking for a personal small business credit co expert or consultant. I don't have to pay for anything. It's free. Yes. Fiverr takes 20% of your money. I remember when I first started I'm thinking, Oh, 20%. I, I had a $600 gig and, and it's like, Whoa, but look, it, it's, it's, it's free money. It's a client I didn't have. Yes. They take 20%, but it's well worth it. I sell my eBooks on there. Um, I make, I mean, I sell them for five bucks and they, I net four bucks, <laughs> five or takes a dollar, but I was giving those away for free, but clients have gone there to find out about my business credit ebook. So make sure you understand, you know, about some of these affiliates that you apply for, um, that you're going to need when and you'll, you'll see when you fill them out, they'll say, well, how many followers do you have? How many, what kind of presence do you have? If you got a good you know, solid uh, social media president presence, you may get approved for a social media presence. But a lot of them, if you're just starting out, you will not be approved. So make sure you're aware of it. ClickBank is one that's good, but make sure do not spend um, any money for traffic unless you set up an auto sponsor with your ClickBank links. So I just wanted to drop that. Uh, another one, is, well, another one of my top ones is, um, uh, click funnels click funnels is awesome man i tell you this is where i my i have my ebook and i have another product on that i'm finishing up you guys will see that but it's yes it's expensive but look you're gonna have to spend a little money to make a little money the cool thing about and i'll just cut to the chase on click funnels cool thing i love about click funnels is that you do not have to be an expert you can watch two or three videos and be able to set this up it's all click and paste if I could do it at 56, guys, I know you can do it. But um, but basically, you, you just you, you set up a digital product. And what a digital product is, is like a, a, a PDF. You take a PDF, you put it in here, and and then you set up, you, you set it up and watch those. I haven't done a video on ClickFunnels, how to set it up, but there's a ton, you know. Um, but once once people click on it, you know, they pay for it. It goes to your pay file. So this is an evergreen um, thing. I don't touch it. I, you know, I, I get money in my PayPal that I get a little alert and says, hey, you know, such and such has bought your book. It's great to have ebook. I did this ebook on Fiverr, right? I know if you told me I, I could do an ebook two years ago, I was like, you're out of your mind. But you know what? I put my mind to it. The, and I in, in watch my ebook. Um, I think I, I have an ebook on my um, 
I mean, YouTube, uh, me talking about my ebook. So check that out. But the, you know, I, I did the ebook and I ran into little hurdles here and there and asked for help and, and got some help on Fiverr. And the lady who actually, I, who edited my books was from Sri Lanka. I mean, so it's people all over the world that will help you get things done. And you can, you can do a lot of things that you think you maybe couldn't have done with, with Fiverr and other things that are out there. Also too, while I'm talking about Fiverr freelance, also check out Upwork and um, freelancer.com. Those are two other ones that you may find jobs on too, that may, you may qualify for. Um, but anyway, Click funnels, it's pretty cool. Click and paste, uh, ninety-seven bucks a month, but it's worth it. No, I am not affiliate, so um, check that out. And then the, and then the, um, let me just show you uh, uh, one of my. So this is, this is, uh, this is my flex offers. You know, I qualify for flex. It took me a while. I, I, it took me a while to qualify for flex offers. Because once again, I really didn't have much of a presence, but I mean, they have over, look at, look how many advertisers that, that are available to me. Yes, I have to apply, but because of my presence right now, I'll get approved on majority of these. And I have, I want to say 20 with them right now. So it's pretty awesome. Got a little money made, um, not a ton because they send you checks, um, all the time so that you, you'll kind of deplete that amount. Um, another thing you can do too, uh, and once again, this is on Fiverr. Uh, although I'm a, I'm a social media manager, I have other streams of income. I do, I do Canva. If you haven't heard, ha, heard, I have a, haven't heard of Canva, and I'm not an affiliate, but uh, C A N V A dot com Canva, you can make. You know, thumbnails, you can make just about anything, any kind of templates you can make. But I sell, I also sell uh, thumbnails to people. And all of these I made myself. And like I said, if I can do this, folks, it's all click and paste. It's easy to do. I know it's at first, believe me, <laughs> it seems undaunting. And I'm talking like it's easy. I know better because I started where you are. I still feel that I'm a novice, even though it's been two years. And I know that some of you folks need to get up and running and making money for your family. I get that. So fiber, 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 <laughs> click funnels. You know, you can come up with a PDF that you can sell and, 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 um, and put it on click funnels. So I'll try to get you a link to click funnels to sign up or a free link or something. So those are my, my two number one recommendations. Uh, Clickbank is cool. JVZ is cool. JV Zoo is, is, is cool, but a lot of them, once again, you're going to have to get um, approved for. And then my the one I should have really started with before any of them, and I just really trying to finish up, is Teachable. Teachable is, um, is an awesome product, you know, that you can sell online. So your course is putting a course together that people want. And, I, and I'm going to let you in on, in on a little secret. Check out Google Trends. Google Trends will tell you what people are looking for all the time. And look, you know what? Whatever your expertise is, you can do a um, a class, a school, uh, you know, teach something unteachable. And that's where the people are really making a lot of making killing um, selling courses. So, and I know some of these things sound daunting, but if I can do it, believe me, I was the worst when it came to, you know, thinking I could do something like that. I never thought I could do it, but you can. And then the last thing is YouTube. You know, look, I mean, the thing, the thing about it is that once I got over myself, you know, figuring out that, you know what, I look weird, I look goofy. I have dystonia, so I have oral mandibular dystonia, so my speech is kind of slurred. And you know what? After I got over myself, I didn't care, you know. And here I am, two years later. I got two point. Oh, sorry about that. I got two point four. Uh, two point four. Hold on one second, folks. Sorry about that. Got a little darker. 
but I got 2.4 uh, subscribers, uh, 2,400 subscribers. I'm pretty proud of that. So look, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm going to end this video because my light went out and my power is just about to go, but I wanted to, to do this video for you guys. I didn't see anything out there because of this time. Look, this coronavirus is serious. I know that. I understand it. And um, be safe out there. And uh, peace, y'all. Tony Hill, Making Sense of Credit. Making Sense of Making Money Online. Until the next time, peace, y'all. Be safe.